Hey guys, Nate here with PlayYourCord.com, and today we're talking about the secret to a successful kick serve. All right, guys, so today we're talking about the kick serve and a, a little drill exercise to improve it and to hopefully finally conceptualize it and improve it. This video is for a 60 to 79 on the PYC scale that is a USTA equivalent to 3.5 to 4.5. All right, and we're gonna jump right into this. We're gonna show you what you need to be doing to improve the kick serve. All right, so today we're talking about this drill that's gonna really help with the kick serve. And the most important part about the kick serve is being able to conceptualize it, all right? Having this mental picture of what it's supposed to be. And we've heard about where you're supposed to toss, about where your contact is supposed to be, where pronation happens. But this drill is really going to bring home the way that you perceive it, okay? And so what we're talking about is once the racket has gone back, of course, we need this continental grip for the kick serve. And I've entered the racket tick back where I can work through extension, right? I'm going to take the ball and I'm going to take the racket and start below it. And I'm going to feel the racket moving up and down my hand, okay? And this is where I want to be able to feel the kick serve. All right, so once we start feeling comfortable with where this ball is located and I'm working through it, all right, we're going to start working the ball off the hand. All right, and you can see there that naturally the ball moved towards the ad court because as a righty, that's where my body is naturally uncoiling and the racket is finishing out. Okay, and that's, that's where the kick serve is going to be the most prominent. For a lefty, we're gonna see it uh, a, a little bit different, but that's for the righty, all right? So now here's the important thing to remember is if I'm serving on the deuce court, and many of us struggle with our kick serve on the deuce court, I wanna make sure that the strings are facing where my target is, all right? So on the ad court, it's natural because my racket is already, the strings are already facing towards the ad court, all right? But here on the deuce court, as I'm making this move, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure the strings are facing towards the deuce court and not out towards the ad court. All right, so we're gonna run through this exercise where we're taking the ball off the hand. We're gonna do a couple of these where we work the ball out away from us. And then we're gonna try to implement it into our full swing, all right? So taking the, the, that progression off the hand then working through the full swing, you're gonna really feel this racket working under the ball. We'll take a look at those now. All right, guys, so you hear us use the word progressions a lot because it's absolutely a critical, pertinent word when it comes to coaching because everything happens in stages and we have to have the ability to escalate things up and then to scale it back down, all right? So there we saw the full serve in its motion, but if you're having trouble still with the kick serve, don't keep reinforcing it, establishing poor muscle memory. Take it a step back. So to scale it down, to take it a progression down, Go back to where we have the racket drop and then work from the swing from here, all right? Still focusing on that toss and swinging out to the ball using this kind of chopper motion, all right? But working from here and working on getting that height, all right? Especially if you're getting it into the net. If that progression still you feel lost, go back to the very beginning, the one drill we told you that would help you conceptualize it. And this is simply where we're just taking it and we're rolling it out of the hand, all right? And then tr start trying to progress it and scale it back up. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Take a moment, hit the link below, join the membership. For $5 a month, you get this huge community just outside of pairing you with other players. You're gonna get access to the Talk Tennis Forum where we're gonna answer the questions that you want answered the most. Hit the link below, join our membership. We'll see you in the next video.